The first award we're going to give is to, you've heard from Teresa Sparks, but here are some things that you may not have known, or maybe you do know, that Teresa Sparks is globally recognized as a leading authority on the many challenges facing transgender people, most notably in developing public policy to protect the trans community working with local, state, and federal law, and safety in fighting for basic human, civil, and individual rights for all trans-identified people. She was named Woman of the Year by the California Legislature and the first trans person to speak before the United Nations on transgender rights. She's also executive, she has been executive director of the San Francisco Human Rights Commission, serving for more than seven years. She's also served as the, at the city as a member of the police commission for five years and as its president for three. Early in her career with the city, she was also appointed four years as a commissioner to the Human Rights Commission. Ms. Sparks was also the financial manager and president of a local well-known woman-owned business, Cooperative Good Vibrations. And with that, please welcome our honoree, Teresa Sparks. So instead of getting you a plaque for your wall or something like that, we're giving you an original necklace made by Charlie Toledo, none other. And might I say it looks beautiful with your ensemble? <laughs> Thank you so much. And um, I have to say, and this was pretty clear here too, is you can go through a lot of the things I've done, but only when you mention good vibrations do people smile. <laughs> and that's probably, well, I don't even know what that's from. But um, anyway, thank you so much. Um, this kind of an award for me is very, very significant. And let me tell you why. Um, as I was transitioning 25 years ago, a long time ago, in my midlife, I had kind of an unusual midlife crisis. Um, I never believed I could be accepted within the community of women, never. And so I always thought I would be on the outside. And for many years I was. And that's what I fought and have dedicated my life to uh, for over two decades. And what we're finding now globally is that transgender women are in fact being more and more accepted by the larger community of women. And people are understanding that they're all different kinds of women, women that can have children, women that can't, um, women that have issues, mental, emotional, whatever, some that don't. And so it's a broad, broad umbrella. And what I'm finding now, and I'm hoping you'll accept the premise, is that transgender women really are part of that umbrella. And that's why this, and Emily's smiling, but, but she knows, and we've had some of these conversations, that's why this is so significant to me. So thank you very much. 